At the 2014 SIAM annual meeting, Jorge Nosadal discussed the role of optimization in creating the learning algorithms used in many of today's real-world intelligent systems and machine learning applications. Some of the most exciting products that people are seeing today are based on machine learning. Search engines started by doing very simple algorithms, but they incorporate more and more machine learning techniques. Recommendation systems, such as when you go to Amazon, you buy a product and it says you might be interested in this other product. But the other application I talked about today was the speech recognition. If you have an expert that knows how to extract the correct features from acoustic frames, you have a chance of making speech recognition. During the talk, Nosadal demonstrated the scale of some of the problems related to machine learning. For example, speech recognition systems, which need to be trained to recognize sounds. In the current speech recognition systems, the number of variables that have to be determined, the number of parameters, is let's say 10 million. The number of training points is of the order of 100 million. That means that the objective function to be minimized consists of 100 million terms. And we have to find some 10 million parameters. That's the scale of the problem. As machine learning continues to improve, Nosadal sees multiple applications in the areas of medical imaging and diagnosis. There's a wide range of machine learning problems, starting from simply image recognition. So feed MRIs and recognize when there are tumors there. If there are tumors, then recognize what type of tumors they are. Make all of this automatic. So you can see how in the medical industry, this is gonna revolutionize things. But there's still another dimension. Many people have heard about the Watson system that won the Jeopardy contest. Well, that's a system based on machine learning and rules. IBM is now extending Watson systems to other application areas. Now, what's different about Watson is a question and answer. It's a conversational system. So what else can we see? Systems where we can start asking questions. So the doctor would start asking questions such as, I have seen the following information, and these two are the possibilities I consider as likely. And now a Watson system will come and say, but I think it's this. And then there's going to be an, another question and another answer, and it could be a very important guide to a doctor or to a patient in order to resolve difficult questions that often arise in the medical area.